Hey everybody, this is the Hodge, and yep, I'm really doing this. Why? Because I'm the only one that'll have the balls to say anything that doesn't suck Ben's ever-increasing edict about the situation. It's still being talked about in the YouTube commentary community, whether through Skype or random references in the Honest Mix live streams, or in the comments of the video in question. So I could honestly give two flying fucks about this video being two months old, I am keeping my fucking promise of making a response. Now, if you follow Young Blood Fantasy 91, Tubers 93, or anybody in the Honest Mix, you probably know about a recent fallout between me, Tubers 93, fucking Haggis, Dragon Claw 6000, DJ Richmeister, Young Blood Fantasy 91, and Awkward Smile, Don't Tread on Me, Giggs is Just Chilling, Dive Von Rubble, and Aaron Van Loren. Now, for anybody that wants to find Aaron's channel, it was originally Super Weirdo, then it was Social Strone, then it was Autistic Fuck 917, then it was Theta Surge, and as far as I know, now it's nothing. This particular video in question was made by Youngblood. I will admit that at first I didn't mind Youngblood. I liked some of his work, he made good videos, and he certainly had a passion for what he did. And I used to be friends with him for quite a while. And I will admit that he was right about some things in uh, this particular video. Like the whole, the true nig situation and me sending videos to everybody, I'm not denying any of that. A lot of that shit's true. I will try to be as unbiased as possible because I know you people like that. And, you know, I don't think that I'm 100% right in anything. And, I mean, am I expecting you to agree with me? Am I expecting you to choose between either me or them? No. I'm letting you people decide what you agree with. Anyways, let's get started. The first thing that you, Ben, mentioned is that I was, quote-unquote, messing with you and the others. I'm not entirely sure if this is the exact quote, because I can't think at the moment. I'm trying to do this at one take, but um, it was something around that effect. In Out of mere curiosity, in which context are you referring to? If it's the context of trying to befriend you guys in the beginning, that was me being legit, but you can correct me on that. Because if it was the fact that I was quote-unquote bothering you and them, I mean, who wouldn't try to talk to people in order to make shit right, a sociopath? <clears throat> Excuse me. I do agree that I have been self-centered and rather prideful before, so this is also true. I do love, however, how you make it seem like it's a bad thing to want attention on a site like YouTube, which makes billions of dollars off of videos that scream, look at me, which, amongst other things, makes you the most hypocritical person on the face of the earth, because it's easy for you to say that with over 2,500 subscribers, and you're looking to bring attention to your fans with this video anyways. By the way, what you mentioned about Blaze Blue being defunct because of me is nothing more than a complete fucking lie. I didn't kill Blaze Blue, Extreme Inactivity killed Blaze Blue. If anything, Oblivion709 is to blame for horrible leadership. I also noticed in the comments section of this video that you blame me for what the fuck Boredom Reactors is demise. Again, total bullshit. The reason that group died is because young author Adam re-uploaded a video from Spilled.com on there for some weird reason, and GenGenRum123, ironically the person that conceived the idea for that channel to begin with, pissed on the grave with a horrible reaction video to Tiny Toons, and therefore these two people killed something they gave birth to. This, amongst other things, is you trying to get people to jump your dick for something you made up. And that's fucking stupid. And I also noticed how you show favoritism at its clearest in this video to Giggs, Sean, and Justin because you suck their dicks the whole video and pull a complete 180 on me or refusing to mention any redeeming qualities and showing extreme biasm. By the way, congrats on proving Blackbuster Critic right on that part. Let the hate comments commence. Uh, can I also say hypocrisy? Because you can... Because you claim excuse me, my content to be crap, yet you would tell me you liked it and are subscribed to me. Can you say hypocrisy much? I mean, correct me on this. I'm just, this is just what I'm seeing, like I said. Also, how was I trying to not entertain people first? That was sort of the idea to begin with. If I'm sending people videos, chances are I thought they would find it entertaining. And if people didn't want to see the video, they could simply ignore that. How the fuck is this so hard to understand? How was I misusing YouTube? And if it's supposedly always about me, how do you explain the nation of Johnny K or Loudon Styles? A very good friend of mine and someone that I helped advertise through co-ownership of his channel. Or GNR and SDP911, another friend of mine, who I helped with in terms of content for a while. Seriously, the biasm is just verbatim, and you'd be a lot more credible if you'd actually fucking show proof. 
Also, the sending videos to the same people thing is a fuck up on my part. It was a glitch on the marketing software in question, and the cool guy's tags were never theirs to begin with. Um, don't tread on me. In his previous account, that kid from camp had mentioned in a Q&A to taking the idea from Kawaii Desu Nigga. And I didn't steal them because I never claimed them as my own, nor did they own copyright to the tags to begin with. Seriously, do any of you faggots even know what the word steal means? You're somewhat right on the inspirations thing. My exact inspirations were Retsu Prey, MST3K, Jim81 Jim, Boomstick545, Giggs and Sean, in addition to comedians Louis C.K., Richard Pryor, George Carlin, Woody Allen, Bill Cosby, Steve Martin, Lenny Bruce, Gary Shandling, Bill Hicks, Lenny Clark, Steve Sweeney, Jerry Lewis, Dave Chappelle, and others. I admit my review on Dark Knight Rises was crappy, which is why I got rid of it. I have nothing to say about the editing refusal, because that shit's true. I call bullshit on my points being uh, um, and uh in the dramatic reading on Blue Magus from forever ago. And because I tried to contradict as, uh, contradict, uh, contribute as much as you did. Excuse me for my stuttering. Also, there's only two words that classify why I did that Let's Watch on Foxtrot Delta Lima 97 with uh, Mr. GWS Man. I can. Seriously, are you really unable to see that? Are you? Also, you had no problem with my editing style and told me you preferred it, but here you claim me to sound like a jump-cutting asshole. Again, hypocrisy much. Also, the fact that I have aspirations for a machinima partnership? No shit, I never denied that. But I wasn't expecting it to happen right away, nor was I expecting that, be like, you know, to happen with, like, the snap of my fingers. I can't snap to save my life, so... I mean, I wasn't expecting it to happen just like that, you know what I mean. Because it took me three years to reach over 260 subscribers on my Hodgson 372 account, and I am well aware how hard it is to start a new channel, especially these days. I remember HDCYT, you know, the Charlie Bit My Finger channel. As of now, last time I checked, that video is over 480 million views. Like they would ever get featured for uploading that video today. Once again, you're just making shit up to hate me for. Which is retarded. Also, I was never, repeat, never, told that I wasn't a part of the staff directly. And I have proof in the description of a Skype conversation I had with Giggs and the others at the time, which I will have uploaded as soon as possible, because at the time of this video, my laptop's power jack is fucked up and I'm using my dad's laptop to record. And the Skype recordings are on my laptop. So I'll be sure to have that up as soon as possible. By the way... In terms of jumping from channel to channel to channel, which you say several times, I only have four channels of my own. Hodgson 3 and 7, which was suspended in November 2008. Hodgson 3 and 7 2, which I used from November 2008 until May 2012, and recently closed because it was pretty much dead anyways. Mr. Hodgson 3 and 7 2, which I used briefly for... Especially for those little live streams or something that you had mentioned. I mean, you can tell I closed that one. The name sucked. And now Vanilla Hodge, which is my permanent account. Anybody else is possibly just a poser. Also, Sean jumped channels all the time at one point. I remember because I was there. And I didn't hear you bitch about that, you favoritist cunt. I also admit to making excuses, which I have no comment there. I love how you call me a lost cause, by the way. When I think of lost causes, I think of people like Joshua8428 or Menify27 the second. And... Give me a fucking break, dude. A million things have to go wrong before I wind up like them. So that was obviously obvious hyperbole on your part. And I remember the live streams you uh, brought up. And the reasons I did those was... Yet again, because I can. Because I can, motherfucker. It's the internet. And in terms of that whole video with BBC, uh, for anybody that remembers that, uh, that very shitty troll video that I had made towards Blackbuster Critic that wound up being the whole catalyst for his drama with Fanfic Critic. I admit to wanting relevancy. I'm not denying that. But once again, you had added hyperbole to how I said it without any proof whatsoever. Because you made it seem like I was, like... You basically made it seem like I was some fucking 12-year-old prepubescent child saying this shit. When in actuality, I was just saying shit like, you know... Hey, maybe you'll become relevant from this. I, I was saying it around that term. That speech pattern, if you will. Like, I was saying it a lot more cool and collected. You're making it seem like I was, like, like that was the only thing I cared about.
Oh, and in terms of the spread your ass Elam thing, let me ask you this question. Are you fucking retarded? No, 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 you answered that question for me when you took an account called spread your ass Elam. Seriously. I mean, you have to be retarded, because it should be obvious that I was sharing an inside joke among peers. Anyone with an IQ above zero would have guessed I was joking. I sure as hell would have thought the likes of you would know that. And even more hypocrisy, because you mentioned that it's self-centered to want to be partnered and all that when you were part of the Honest Mix at one point, which recently achieved partnership from Social Blade. Excuse me for going on a tangent for a minute, but I was actually legitimately pissed off at what he said about me being doxxed. Because he pulled a complete 180 on what he said about me being doxxed during the whole Sick Kirby thing. I'm not going to explain who Sick Kirby is. Look him up. Saying I deserved it just for being stupid on the internet. Think about that for a second. Just think about it. Ben, you were essentially kissing Aaron's ass, and he essentially implied that I deserve to have my life in danger over trivial internet shit. Honestly, I lost all respect for you in one fell swoop for that. The Skype call you refer to the, you know, the one related to Sean, I will link in the description. But you were a little wrong in a certain effect, because it initially had Sean, Justin, me, and Dive Bomb Rebel at one point. Giggs was never in that conversation. You claim that I did it without Sean's permission, which is yet again bullshit, because I asked permission to upload it, and he didn't mind. I also admit Sean's name was mentioned, but I didn't say his name, he used it by himself. And he didn't tell me until later that he didn't want it mentioned, which I'll provide proof on in the description of this video. I never had any problem with Sean on any type of level, and even if I did, no one deserves to be doxxed. You can quote me on that as much as you want. Also, you gave me leniency for using my full name in the Sick Curry video and defended me being doxxed in the beginning. Yet you have the gall to say, I deserve to have my life put in danger for trivial internet shit and have my full name. Yet you have no problem with Justin Elam having his last name mentioned. Are you shitting me? Are you seriously this fucking biased? The reason why I have my full name out there is the same reason Justin does. Because I fucking can. The reason why I hate Aaron is because he is a shallow, non-contributing product sponge cunt that pretty much kisses the ass of Giggs and David, and I haven't seen him do anything that wasn't leaping off of that. Like, seriously, I haven't seen him bring anything new to the table whatsoever. The dude hates my ass based on no criteria. I just had to be myself for him to hate me, and he wanted me doxxed just for being myself, which is quite frankly fucked up. And quite frankly, the moment you started defending the likes of that, I was so happy I didn't go to your college because I would have walked in your dorm and punched you in your motherfucking face. This doesn't usually happen, but I'm actually pissed. And also, you say that I was supposedly an enabler for Blazing Mosquito. No the fuck I wasn't. He did that over trivial bullshit on the internet. I'm not going to go into full detail, but it was something related to Tubers93. And he sucks my dick now, but I digress. I know all about the discussion Ben is bringing up in, in this video that we had a little while later. And I will link that recording uncensored and uncut in the description as well whenever I can get it posted. By the way, I love how you try to imply that I am some loser with no plan for my future. When in fact, I am currently working on getting ready for college. I have a girlfriend. I have a decent paying job. I have plenty of IRL friends, GNR and SCP911 and Sora the Ekinna included. And I go out a hell of a lot more than half of you faggots combined. I'm the two-face here? Really now, I'm the two-face. Judging on the fact that you have clearly shown that you say shit behind people's backs and don't have the balls to be completely honest with anybody, instead pulling a 180 and releasing to the public, I mean, if anything, you're the two-face. You are a huge two-face, condescending, hypocritical, lying, piece of shit joker pretending to be a pseudo-intellectual that just happens to have potential in a music career. And with that, I burn bridges and it's it's pretty much evident from recent conversations that he doesn't want to listen to the other side of the argument or listen to anything that would destroy himself. Reason being is the fact that he blocked me off his channel and the honest mix like a faggot and then made this video while I have little to no say, which essentially just proves to me that he is the ultimate pussy. Hey everybody, this is The Hodge and yep, I'm really doing this.
Yeah, you sure are trying to prove a point, especially when you take the laziest route possible to make a video on me. I mean, seriously? Crappy audio? Default Windows Movie Maker settings? We are just leaving the starting gate, and already you are proving me right by demonstrating your abject sloth. Just for that, I'm changing the picture to something that doesn't reek of WMM naivete. Why? Because I'm the only one that'll have the balls to say anything that doesn't suck Ben's ever-increasing edict about the situation. I'm fairly sure that people like Loudon and Realm Wars did the same thing in the comments section of that video, but okay. Continue spouting ironic statements because I at least don't shove videos down everyone's throats, nor make it so apparent that the only reason why I'm on YouTube is to force people to subscribe to me. It's still being talked about in the YouTube commentary community, whether through Skype or random references in the Honest Mix live streams, or in the comments of the video in question. So I could honestly give two flying fucks about this video being two months old, I am keeping my fucking promise of making a response. Actually, you're kind of exaggerating. People talked about you in the Honest Mix livestream because you were the one that dragged your stupid ass there to bother Giggs and David. If you bothered to follow your hiatus and have some tact, you would not have decided to go there just so you can pretend you never got called out on your incessant attention whoring and your perpetually faulty judgment in almost every group you were a member of. In regards to Skype, I'm not on there that often, so I know for a fact that I rarely talk about you there. And honestly, you're using the people are commenting on a video argument so you can justify waiting two months to make a response to me? People comment on videos all the time, and I'm fairly sure that even if you want to say people are still commenting, I only get comments on there once every two weeks at most. I'm actually more than convinced that you made this video after our little confrontation we had on Facebook back in September, one month after I made the original response to you. You came to me, again, acting like nothing ever happened. I say if I caved in and treated you as if I was completely ignorant of the situation, you would not have made this video. Now, if you follow Youngblood Fantasy 91, Tubers 93, or anybody in the Honest Mix, you probably know about a recent fallout between me, Tubers 93, fucking Haggis, Dragon Claw 6000, DJ Richmeister, Youngblood Fantasy 91, and Awkward Smile, Don't Tread on Me, Giggs is Just Chilling, Dive Von Rubble, and Aaron Van Loren. Can, can you pronounce this word? I mean, it's a five letter word. I'm fairly sure if you hate Aaron so much, you would definitely know how to pronounce his damn name of all things, if that's even his real name at all. And again, all these people decided to turn against you because they saw your true colors. And initially, it was just me, Giggs, Justin, Sean, and David that gave you the original intervention. People like Tubers and his friends caught wind of this much later. In fact, literally days before you posted this video. So you shouldn't call your skirmish with Tubers and Palace fallout as much as it is a consequence of our intervention we had back in August. Now, for anybody that wants to find Aaron's channel... It was originally Super Weirdo, then it was Social Strone, then it was Autistic Fuck 917, then it was Theta Surge, and as far as I know, now, it's nothing. I like how you place so much emphasis on discussing Aaron's multitude of YouTube accounts, even though all of them are defunct and he's rarely on Skype. And really, you're getting upset over several comments Aaron made regarding your issue with being doxxed. You would probably say worse to your commentary targets if not people who disagreed with you if you had the chance. And even if it was in jest, Aaron could have just as easily pulled the I was just joking card, and that probably would not have mattered to you because you took his comments so personally. This particular video in question was made by Youngblood. I will admit that at first I didn't mind Youngblood. I liked some of his work, he made good videos, and he certainly had a passion for what he did. And I used to be friends with him for quite a while. And I will admit that he was right about some things in uh, this particular video. Like the whole the true nigs situation and me sending videos to everybody, I'm not denying any of that. A lot of that shit's true. Well, I'm glad that you can man up and accept your faults. However, the issue I have with you is you refuse to change for the better. And in certain cases, you only changed because many people had to remind you constantly to actually put in the effort to edit, script, and not act like you're the center of the YouTube universe. I will try to be as unbiased as possible because I know you people like that. And, you know, I don't think that I'm 100% right in anything. And, I mean, am I expecting you to agree with me? Am I expecting you to choose between either me or them? No. I'm letting you people decide what you agree with. Anyways, let's get started. The first thing that you, Ben, mentioned is that I was, quote-unquote, messing with you and the others. I'm not entirely sure if this is the exact quote. 
because I can't think at the moment. I'm trying to do this at one take, but yet even more proof that you refuse to change for the better. You're trying to do this all in one take because you refuse to edit or rework projects, which is why your obvious attempts to increase your visibility through the YouTube partnership program will fail. And as I said in the original video, yes, you have been messing with me, Sean, Giggs, and the rest, through your appearances in the Honest Mix live streams, your Twitter updates, and your constant spamming of Facebook friend requests. That's borderline harassment right there. Um, it was something around that effect. In Out of Mere Curiosity, in which context are you referring to? If it's the context of trying to befriend you guys in the beginning, that was me being legit, but you can correct me on that. Because if it was the fact that I was quote-unquote bothering you and them, I mean, who wouldn't try to talk to people in order to make shit right, a sociopath? No, 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 no. There's a fine difference between talking to people about the problem and acting like the problem never occurred in the first place. If you wanted to make things right, you should have been more open to everyone in the Honest Mix's suggestions, not pretend to listen to everyone, ignore what we say, and then create threadbare excuses. Most of the time, you ended up doing that, so that's why people like Giggs and David were and still are pissed at you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do agree that I have been self-centered and rather prideful before, so this is also true. I do love, however, how you make it seem like it's a bad thing to want attention on a site like YouTube, which makes billions of dollars off of videos that scream, look at me, which amongst other things makes you the most hypocritical person on the face of the earth, because it's easy for you to say that with over 2,500 subscribers, and you're looking to bring attention to your fans with this video anyways. Okay. This is coming from the guy who is so ludicrously desperate to gain video views that he will do almost anything to increase his ego a million fold. Your inability to use a simple program that spams videos into our inboxes is proof that you're so fixated on the fame and the power of being a YouTube celebrity. Yes, I joined YouTube so that people could watch my videos, but I didn't place such a burgeoning emphasis on getting partnership and making money off my videos. And besides, Hodge, I got subscribers without any programs, gimmicks, or the YouTube partnership system, which means that any subscribers or views I get is a product of effort I put into the video from the ground up. I didn't rely on shortcuts like you do, Hodge. By the way, what you mentioned about Blaze Blue being defunct because of me is nothing more than a complete fucking lie. I didn't kill Blaze Blue, Extreme Inactivity killed Blaze Blue. If anything, Oblivion 709 is to blame for horrible leadership. Oh, ho, ho, I beg to differ. If you really weren't blinded by your own anger, you would realize that because you uploaded all of your videos to Blaze Blue in an attempt to subvert the original purpose of Blaze Blue's existence, you were drop kicked from the group. And then what happened was that Geek tried to plan an E3 event and that failed. Because of your disregard for other people's content, Hodge, you pretty much made everyone uninterested in the group, and thus you caused the inactivity. And if anything, Oblivion had ample patience to deal with your self-serving bullcrap the whole way through. I also noticed in the comments section of this video that you blame me for what the fuck Boredom Reactors' is demise. Again. Total bullshit. The reason that group died is because young author Adam re-uploaded a video from Spilled.com on there for some weird reason, and GenGenRum123, ironically the person that conceived the idea for that channel to begin with, pissed on the grave with a horrible reaction video to Tiny Toons, and therefore these two people killed something they gave birth to. Whoa. You were actually capable of making a good argument. But that still didn't change the fact that you were a part of the group and you still made excessively inferior content on the channel. And I distinctly remember you reposting videos from your main channel on there as well. Yes, you can blame inactivity for its demise, but the issue here is that you made every single group project into a reason to desperately spread your name everywhere on YouTube. This, amongst other things, is you trying to get people to jump your dick for something you made up. And that's fucking stupid. And I also notice how you show favoritism at its clearest in this video to Giggs, Sean, and Justin because you suck their dicks the whole video and pull a complete 180 on me or using them to mention any redeeming qualities and showing extreme biasm. Is this even a word? Is it? And are you trying to make an argument or are you just saying this because you know everything I said about you was true? The reason why I side with Justin, Sean, and Giggs is because you've hung out with them the longest. They have seen what you do. They have seen you crush group projects, annoy them to death with talk about your own videos and what you do on a daily basis, and of course, dealt with your irritating attitude throughout your entire time in the group. I didn't side with them because of bias. I sided with them because I saw what you were doing to them. By the way, congrats on proving Blackbuster Critic right on that part. Let the hate comments commence. <laughs> Says the guy who made a poorly done troll video to BBC just so you can anger BBC's fans. I say you said that because you're angry that I'm one of the few who were actually honest with how you act on here. Real mature, Hodge. Uh, can I also say hypocrisy? Because you can 
because you claim, excuse me, my content to be crap, yet you would tell me you liked it and are subscribed to me. Can you say hypocrisy much? Can you say repetition? Can you say repetition? Can you say- Also, let me fill you in on something, Hodge. You asked me to look at your videos constantly. You consistently spammed me your videos on my Skype, hoping that you will get a self-esteem boost out of what I said. And you know what? Being the spineless yet merciful halfwit that I was, I said I liked your videos so that way you would stop bothering me with them. I said it to make you feel better, not because your videos were actually any good. And besides, I did give you criticism on your videos more than once, and you seemed fine with it then too. So the question is, are you really going to call me out on hypocrisy, all because I was just trying to be nice to you? I mean, correct me on this. I'm just, this is just what I'm seeing. Like I said. Also, how was I trying to not entertain people first? That was sort of the idea to begin with. If I'm sending people videos, chances are I thought they would find it entertaining. Well, if most of your videos consist of poor editing, poor audio quality, poor video quality, and apparent lack of creativity, then I'm fairly sure 9 users out of every 10 users you spammed with your content will probably write them off as boring and unentertaining. This is why you always had low video views, and now you're relying on alternate methods to garner attention to your content. Making inferior videos should not be blamed on the audience and should not justify your ravenous desire for YouTube fame. And if people didn't want to see the video, they could simply ignore that. How the fuck is this so hard to understand? How was I misusing YouTube? And if it's supposedly always about me, how do you explain the nation of Johnny K or Loudon Styles? A very good friend of mine and someone that I helped advertise through co-ownership of his channel. Or GNR and SDP911, another friend of mine, who I helped with in terms of content for a while. Because, Hodge, you always focused on your channel's visibility. The fact that you constantly discussed how relevant you wanted to be and how you wanted to talk about your high aspirations for a machinima partnership clearly shows all you care about is yourself. And you can say you helped Loudon all you want, but the reason you're saying this is because you, again, have a deep-seated urge to take credit for anything you ever do, whether it's participation in a group project or assistance with anything. And honestly, GNRSTP is a real-life friend of yours that you're also taking credit from because you probably forced yourself on his channel and surely enough, not many people watch his content either. And in fact, Loudon himself is disapproving of what you're doing. But you don't have to take my word for it. No, I try to keep away from Hodge, because let me tell you how desperate it's getting. He has no one else to talk to, and here's the fucking mistake I made. I gave, before all this shit went down, me and Hodge actually were like, Hodge used to text me through my phone. So I kind of blocked his number because that fucker would call me in the worst of situations or he would text me in the worst of situations because basically after everybody basically said, get the fuck out of here, he would like call, he would like text me nonstop and I'm like, oh, fuck, stop. So, no, I'm trying to keep away from Hodge. Seriously, the biasm is just verbatim, and you'd be a lot more credible if you'd actually fucking show proof. You know what? I'll just let that phrase sink in. Because Hodge later claims I'm a pseudo-intellectual, yet here he is blatantly misusing words. Just think of this phrase every time he accuses me of that. And oh yeah, Hodge, show proof that what you're doing with your attention whoring and your inbox spamming and your project destroying is increasing the visibility of your channel. I bet you definitely have a social blade partnership. Yes, you do. Also, the sending videos to the same people thing is a fuck up on my part. It was a glitch on the marketing software in question, and the cool guy's tags were never theirs to begin with. Um, don't tread on me. In his previous account, that kid from camp had mentioned in a Q&A to taking the idea from Kawaii Desu Nigga. And I didn't steal them because I never claimed them as my own, nor did they own copyright to the tags to begin with. Seriously, do any of you faggots even know what the word steal means? Well, I guess you're not one for context because I used steal in a rather mocking fashion. By that I mean you emulated Sean and Giggs with these tags just so you can feel like you're part of the group. And besides, all these guys, including you, lifted the idea from... You guessed it, Machinima, the group that you desperately want to be a part of. It doesn't change the fact that these tags are mostly useless because 100% of my videos use relevant or nearly relevant tags, and I still got video views. And, oh, I use the word faggot, I'm so edgy and not from combusting herpes. You're somewhat right on the inspirations thing. My exact inspirations were Retsu Prey, MST3K, Jim81 Jim, Boomstick545, Giggs and Sean, in addition to comedians Louis C.K., Richard Pryor, George Carlin, Woody Allen, Bill Cosby, Steve Martin, Lenny Bruce, Gary Shandling, Bill Hicks, Lenny Clark, Steve Sweeney, Jerry Lewis, Dave Chappelle, and others.
So even with all these comedy muses and all these big time YouTube users giving you inspiration, you still produce subpar content? Okay then, nice to know you like name dropping. I admit my review on Dark Knight Rises was crappy, which is why I got rid of it. I have nothing to say about the editing refusal, because that shit's true. I call bullshit on my points being uh, um, and uh in the dramatic reading on Blue Magus from forever ago. Well, I can counterclaim bullshit with bullshit because the dramatic reading was so slow going and as boring as molasses because there were major pauses between what I said and what you said. And of course, I slightly exaggerated with the um and uh thing. However, it didn't change the fact that your lack of editing decreased the quality of the video. And you don't listen to anyone's advice regarding editing, yet here you are saying you lent a helping hand to Loudon and GNR. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, he's projecting his hypocrisy on me. And because I tried to contradict as, uh, contradict, uh, contribute as much as you did. Whoa, I think you just incriminated yourself there. But this is more proof that you really need to stop being lazy and stop doing things in one take. Excuse me for my stuttering. Also, there's only two words that classify why I did that Let's Watch on Foxtrot Delta Lima 97 with uh, Mr. GWS Man. I can. Seriously, are you really unable to see that? Are you? Also, you had no problem with my editing style and told me you preferred it, but here you claim me to sound like a jump-cutting asshole. Again, hypocrisy much. Like I said, I said it was an improvement to make you feel better. While you actually edited, which is a first, it was so apparent you jump-cutted almost every part of your original audio, and to me it sounded forced and inorganic. To me, it appeared like you tried way too hard to impress your audience, and nobody wants that. If anything, your editing should appear like everything flows and work together, and not like you graduated from the sexy feel school of edgy editing. Also, the fact that I have aspirations for a machinima partnership? No shit, I never denied that. But I wasn't expecting it to happen right away, nor was I expecting that... Be like, you know, to happen with, like, the snap of my fingers. I can't snap to save my life, so... I mean, I wasn't expecting it to happen just like that, you know what I mean. Because it took me three years to reach over 260 subscribers on my Hodgson 372 account, and I am well aware how hard it is to start a new channel, especially these days. The reason why I criticized you for that is because you made it so bloody apparent. You told everyone you wanted to join Machinima. You told the world that Machinima is your dream. And the thing is, your videos are not what you call Machinima material. If anything, they would question why your video quality is low grade and your audio quality is just as bad. And if you're going to reject people's advice and not improve on yourself, then I don't know what to say, and you're chasing rainbows. Sorry if I am trying to be realistic. I remember HDCYT, you know, the Charlie Bit My Finger channel, as of now, last time I checked, that video has over 480 million views. Like they would ever get featured for uploading that video today. Once again, you're just making shit up to hate me for. Which is retarded. I'm making stuff up? If anything, I'm just making a valid observation based on your behavior and your inability to shut the hell up about yourself for two seconds to realize that people don't care if you talk the talk but not walk the walk. You say you're going to do something with GNR. Are you going to use a poorly working Dazzle and record your video game adventures with your friend in one take? Or are you going to open Pinnacle Studios or Sony Vegas for once and actually utilize fucking editing tools? Because based on what you did with this video with your crappy WMM effects, I remain convinced that you really don't care about your videos and only care about self-aggrandizing yourself. Also, I was never, repeat, never, told that I wasn't a part of the staff directly. And I have proof in the description of a Skype conversation I had with Giggs and the others at the time, which I will have uploaded as soon as possible, because at the time of this video, my laptop's power jack is fucked up and I'm using my dad's laptop to record. And the Skype recordings are on my laptop. I'm pretty sure that these guys gave you the vibe that your previous experience with other group channels is a testament to how much of a toxin you are to their group projects. You're guilty of not listening to them in the past, and you misinterpreted what I said in my previous video on you, so I'm going to remain skeptical even if you post your evidence. And besides, you admitted to causing the collapse of the true nigs anyway, so it wouldn't make much of a difference if you point out that they didn't say exactly, we don't want you. So I'll be sure to have that up as soon as possible. By the way, in terms of jumping from channel to channel to channel, which you say several times, I only have four channels of my own. Hodgson 3 and 7, which was suspended in November 2008, Hodgson 3 and 7 2, which I used from November 2008 until May 2012, and recently closed because it was pretty much dead anyways, Mr. Hodgson 3 and 7 2, which I used briefly for, especially for those little live streams or something that you had mentioned. I mean, you can tell I closed that one, the name sucked. And now Vanilla Hodge, which is my permanent account. 
anybody else is possibly just a poser. Also, Sean jumped channels all the time at one point. I remember because I was there. And I didn't hear you bitch about that, you favoritist cunt. Oh, ouch! The edgy insults are ruining my brain. I'm going to throw myself off a cliff for your immaturity. And the reason why I didn't bitch out Sean is because he kept getting his videos flagged down by idiots all the time. You, on the other hand, had only one flagged YouTube account, and the other three channels were the product of channel jumping. Sean had three or four channels that I know were suspended because of false flag attempts. I would call you names, but that's reserved for playground fights, and we're not in middle school anymore. I also admit to making excuses, which I have no comment there. I love how you call me a lost cause, by the way. When I think of lost causes, I think of people like Joshua8428 or Meta5271. And give me a fucking break, dude. A million things have to go wrong before I wind up like them. So that was obviously obvious hyperbole on your part. I admit that I exaggerated a bit, but you are still a stubborn, recalcitrant attention whore that again refuses to listen to people. And the hallmark of just ignoring what people say to squirm your way out of situations is making excuses, which you just admitted to doing. Hodge, unless you radically renovate your channel, you are lost because Giggs and Sean told you multiple times what you were doing was wrong, and you refused to listen to them all those occasions. Hell, I think you didn't listen to us back in August when we confronted you. And after our conversation on Facebook, you just reverted to using crappy editing and then got on the warpath when I called you out, again, for what you did to me, gigs, and gang. So, you know what? I think you're dangerously close to being a lost cause based on your previous actions. And I remember the live streams you uh, brought up, and the reasons I did those was, yet again, because I can. Because I can, motherfucker. It's the internet. Because I have the freedom to constantly whore myself out and make inferior content. The internet deserves mediocrity, guys! And in terms of that whole video with BBC, uh, for anybody that remembers that, uh, that very shitty troll video that I had made towards Blackbuster Critic that wound up being the whole catalyst for his drama with Fanfic Critic, I admit to wanting relevancy. I'm not denying that. But once again, you had added hyperbole to how I said it without any proof whatsoever. Because you made it seem like I was, like... You basically made it seem like I was some fucking 12-year-old prepubescent child saying this shit. When in actuality, I was just saying shit like, you know, hey, maybe you'll become relevant from this. I, I was saying it around that term. That speech pattern, if you will. Like, I was saying it a lot more cool and collected. You're making it seem like I was, like, like that was the only thing I cared about. And here we see Classic Hodge with excuses, excuses, and more excuses. And did I mention excuses? Because I'm pretty sure he's just saying that the way he said it should justify his unending hunger for recognizance online. He habitually talked about relevancy to me and other people, and because he didn't deny that, that means that we know that all he craved is attention on YouTube and nothing else. All he wants are views and subscribers, and he makes it apparent by shoving those goals down everyone's throats and incessantly asking people to subscribe to his poorly done videos. So, in effect, you do sound like a prepubescent child because your main goal is for everyone to revolve around you. Oh, and in terms of the spread your ass Elam thing, let me ask you this question. Are you fucking retarded? No, 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 you answered that question for me when you took an account called Spread Your Ass Elam. Seriously. I mean, you have to be retarded, because it should be obvious that I was sharing an inside joke among peers. Anyone with an IQ above zero would have guessed I was joking. I sure as hell would have thought the likes of you would know that. Oh no! More insults! My honor! Defiled! Oh, the humanity! Look, Hodge, if you're trying to be funny, it really did not work. You just made an account out of nowhere acting like you thought it was the funniest thing ever, when really it was just you being impulsive and ridiculous. I slammed you for that because of how staggeringly unfunny it was, and because I actually know what a bad joke is, unlike you. And even more hypocrisy, because you mentioned that it's self-centered to want to be partnered and all that when you were part of the Honest Mix at one point, which recently achieved partnership from Social Blade. Oh my freaking Jesus. Let me tell you something about partnership. If you really yearn for partnership to the point where you will stop at nothing to be partnered and use tactics like spamming videos into people's inboxes, then yeah, that deserves to be criticized because it's like driving a truck naked into Hollywood with Hire Me painted on the side of the truck. It shows that you're obviously pretentious and desperate for YouTube's attention. Also, speak for yourself. You're the one that's unable to gain Social Blade partnership anyway, so I don't know what you're doing wrong unless Social Blade explicitly pointed out what's wrong with your channel, which we could add to our talent of things Hodge ignored. And not to mention, I pretty much told Sean and Giggs that I will not be part of the Honest Mix unless if I have free time or if I really wanted to put the effort in. I was just thrown into a live stream with them randomly, so that explains why my face is on their channel. Ergo, your argument is hilariously flawed. Excuse me for going on a tangent for a minute, but 
I was actually legitimately pissed off at what he said about me being doxxed. Because he pulled a complete 180 on what he said about me being doxxed during the whole Sick Kirby thing. I'm not going to explain who Sick Kirby is, look him up, saying I deserved it just for being stupid on the internet. Think about that for a second. Just think about it. I am thinking about it. I did not, under any circumstances, 100% condone you from showing your entire damn name online. I said it was your choice to show your name. I, again, was more forgiving because you were my friend. However, I didn't pull a complete 180 because I did not completely let you off the hook for that. Maybe if you actually watched the Sick Kirby video, you would understand and not succumb to obvious misinterpretation. Ben, you were essentially kissing Aaron's ass, and he essentially implied that... I deserve to have my life in danger over, over trivial internet shit. Honestly, I lost all respect for you in one fell swoop for that. The Skype call you refer to, the, you know, the one related to Sean, I will link in the description. But you were a little wrong in a certain effect because it initially had Sean, Justin, me, and Dive Bomb Rebel at one point. Giggs was never in that conversation. Oh, so if I agree with you, then it's all good in Hodgeland. But if I agree with Aaron, I would be kissing his ass. What double standards? And the main idea I agree with Aaron about regarding your endangerment online is that showing your full name is not the smartest move to make. Aaron similarly had problems with your attitude online, and ever since, I realized that you're treating me like Aaron. So in effect, all you're doing is castigating your critics and acting like an internet tough guy to prove a point. And who cares who was in the damn call with Sean? You still dropped Sean's name, and Tubers93 can back that up for me because he has a copy of that very same video. You claim that I did it without Sean's permission, which is yet again bullshit, because I asked permission to upload it, and he didn't mind. I also admit Sean's name was mentioned, but I didn't say his name, he used it by himself. And he didn't tell me until later that he didn't want it mentioned, which I will provide proof on in the description of this video. I never had any problem with Sean on any type of level, and even if I did, no one deserves to be doxxed. You can quote me on that as much as you want. No one deserves to be doxxed, eh? First of all, Mr. Accuse Me of Hypocrisy, you're the one that again failed to edit out any sort of incriminating information in the video, so the onus is on you because you did not review the content and uploaded it willy-nilly. Sean took umbrage to that because he noticed you did not edit any of that out, and you completely ignored my example of our dramatic reading we did on Meta 527 the second. I reviewed all the audio and edited out Sean's dox dropping of his old school. That shows that I was prudent and you weren't. Also, let's talk about the many times you hunted down people's Facebooks and tried to add them multiple times without their permission either. I've gotten testimony from people like DJ Richmeister, Dark1707, Big CN Fan, and several others that you tracked down via their Facebooks and attempted to add them. More than once, may I add. So obviously you don't care about their information and you had to search their docs to figure that out. So I'd like to hear your explanation on that, if I don't mind, since you obviously don't value privacy. Also, you gave me leniency for using my full name in the Sick Curry video and defended me being docs in the beginning. Yet you have the gall to say, I deserve to have my life put in danger for trivial internet shit and have my full name, yet you have no problem with Justin Elam having his last name mentioned. Are you shitting me? Are you seriously this fucking biased? The reason why I have my full name out there is the same reason Justin does, because I fucking can. And you have the gall to put Sean's life in danger and scare other people on Facebook by randomly adding them? Okay, then fair's fair, but let's talk about Justin Elam's name. This is Justin Elam's name. Notice how he only includes his first and last name. Now let's look at your name, Joshua David Hodgson. How many Joshua David Hodgsons are on YouTube revealing their full name with such specificity? More than one Justin Elam exists on YouTube, so if someone doesn't know which one they're looking for, they might be a bit delayed in finding him. However, you, Hodge, revealed all components of your name, which can be easily cross-checked with doxing websites. That's not to say anyone should do it. However, you made it easier on people who will go after you and dox you. I'm not going to 100% condone Justin's disclosure of his full name either. I never really did to begin with because, as I I said in the previous video on you, Hodge, Justin revealed his full name for the same reasons you have, which is why I also feel ambivalent regarding Justin's case. I'm not going to completely defend anyone who reveals their full name on YouTube, but if they are uncomfortable about it like how Sean is, then that should be taken into consideration, which you did not do, Hodge. The reason why I hate Aaron is because he is a shallow, non-contributing product sponge cunt that pretty much kisses the ass of Giggs and David, and I haven't seen him do anything that wasn't leaking off of that. Like, seriously, I haven't seen him bring anything new to the table whatsoever. The dude hates my ass based on no criteria. I just had to be myself for him to hate me, and he wanted me doxxed just for being myself, which is 
quite frankly, fucked up. And quite frankly, the moment you started defending the likes of that, I was so happy I didn't go to your college because I would have walked in your dorm and punched you in your motherfucking face. And I'm glad you didn't decide to stalk me either. Way to go, you made a smart decision for once. It's true that right now Aaron is inactive. However, I've known about him for a bit, and he doesn't seem like a massive asshole. If anything, when you did act like yourself, you pretty much dissuaded him from talking to you because you used your usual shtick of, Hey, look at me. Pay attention to me. It's about me. This conversation is about me trying hard and failing. And of course, what Aaron probably said about the doxing was harsh, but that's only because you were very careless about your info to the point where it surpassed what Justin did with his name. Aaron was being honest with you, and you just did not want to hear an honest opinion. This doesn't usually happen, but I'm actually pissed. And also, you say that... I was supposedly an enabler for Blazing Mosquito. No the fuck I wasn't. He did that over trivial bullshit on the internet. I'm not going to go into full detail, but it was something related to Tubers93. And he sucks my dick now, but I digress. Regarding the entire incident, both parties were at fault. You enabled him by showing your full name, and he had anxiety problems. Go figure, the internet attracts mentally unstable people. I know all about the discussion Ben is bringing up. In, in this video that we had a little while later, and I will link that recording uncensored and uncut in the description as well whenever I can get it posted. By the way, I love how you try to imply that I am some loser with no plan for my future, when in fact I am currently working on getting ready for college, I have a girlfriend, I have a decent paying job, I have plenty of IRL friends, GNR and SUV911 and so are the kind included, and I go out a hell of a lot more than half of you faggots can bind. And yet, even with all these things, you still broke your hiatus, constantly invaded Honest Mix live streams, and continually made updates on Twitter and YouTube. And even with your job in place, you're still promising videos every Tuesday and Friday, but you already broke that promise since last Friday passed and you showed nothing. Yet again, you show complete disregard for your own channel and your own videos, and all you care about is the adrenaline rush you get when you receive attention for your content. I'm the Two-Face here. Really now, I'm the Two-Face. Judging on the fact that you have clearly shown that you say shit behind people's backs and don't have the balls to be completely honest with anybody, instead pulling a 180 and releasing to the public, I mean, if anything, you're the Two-Face. You are a huge Two-Face, condescending, hypocritical, lying, piece of shit joker pretending to be a pseudo-intellectual that just happens to have potential in a music career. How can I pretend to be a pseudo-intellectual? Do you even revise your- I shouldn't even ask that, because all you care about is recording crap in one take. Well, Hodge, you are a self-ingratiating, egocentric, condescending charlatan that gets reactionary and sensitive when people call you out, and you blatantly ignore people like a recalcitrant child and throw expletives and insults around trying to be this awesome and edgy internet tough guy, when in effect you look like a try-hard failure on YouTube. How about that? In fact, I say you are the pseudo-intellectual when you use words wrong and misinterpret half the crap I say. Wait, that's actually too nice. You pretend to be a pseudo-intellectual because that's the most you can ever do to save yourself here. Also... And with that, I burn bridges. It's, it's pretty much evident from recent conversations that he doesn't want to listen to the other side of the argument or listen to anything that would destroy himself. Reason being is the fact that he blocked me off his channel and the honest mix. Which I did, because I didn't want you constantly spamming, Hey, can you add me to your box every goddamn day of the week? And I don't have the Honest Mix's password, so you can't blame me for this. Sean, Giggs, Justin, and whoever is in the Honest Mix probably decided to do that independently of me. Especially since I tried to move on from my video, yet you decided to reignite this conflict just to attempt to save face. And then made this video, while I have little to no say, which essentially just proves to me that he is the ultimate pussy. Um, actually, you had the freedom to make this video the entire time. You never were stifled in regards to your voice. And, in fact, I never blocked you or removed you from my fake Facebook, so you were able to talk to me there. I'm not a pussy if I know that keeping people who constantly bother me as contacts will just inconvenience me in the future. This is one of these rare exceptions to my blocking policy, and I'm pretty sure it's a valid reason to block, considering that Hodge would have spammed the hell out of me with unneeded messages and unneeded bickering.